thanks for staying with us here on Daybreak. One of the destinations for the North Seca Beach Volleyball Tour is of course the Cayman Islands and it's the favorite of the players. Uh, we have a rundown of what's to come uh, in a few weeks time for Beach Volleyball. Noah Williams, the president of Volleyball Federation, Farid, uh, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Uh, Noah, we'll start with you. This tournament has grown in the last few years. Why do you think it has caught on so well in the community? Our people here in the community, um, our beautiful island, the beaches, um, perfect organization. Um, if you may say so yourself. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> because we have a lot of good people like um, surrounding volleyball. I mean, Farid here is the tournament director, has done an exceptional good job. Um, the volunteers, I mean, from time the teams come in the airport, I mean, the service there is great with our team. And every restaurant they go to, I mean, people welcome them. I mean, it's just not a beach tournament, but we get them to go to the, the Dolphin Discovery. We get them to go to Stingray. I mean, it's just an experience of a lifetime when they come here. How important it is for you to get better each time? Um, because we're going for the big one. Um, if you think this is anything, it's nothing, Jason. Um, we want a world championship now. We want the, the Swatch um, tournament where you're talking probably millions of dollars and, and teams from Brazil and Argentina, those coming here. That's, that's our goal. And like before we started this tournament, uh, when I went to Farid um, a couple of years ago, people thought we were crazy yeah. to host such a tournament. But you know what? The prize is the big one. And I think we, we're taking our steps and stuff now, and every year we keep getting better and better. So w within the next year, two years, um, you should see great Volleyball. things happening for our, our small, beautiful island. Well, what do we need to do to keep proving people wrong for Reed? Our players are developing, our tournament organization is developing. Uh, what is the feedback do you get, not just from the community, but from sponsors after a tournament? Uh, they're very happy. The sponsors are very happy and they're very excited to the, the first feedback that I get from them is we'd like to be involved next year, which is great, or next time. So um, what we need is to get people out to the beach, um, get people watching the tournament. And once they, see, once they see the product that's put on in the Cayman Islands and the aesthetics of the island, coupled with the, the level of volleyball that's here, uh, it, it's, it's an exceptional um, I would like to event. say that the volleyball community is a close-knit community. What is the feedback from players around the world about what's happening in the Cayman Islands? Well, certainly um, St. John Smith was here last March and he's, he's the FIVB beach coordinator and he's played on the tour, tour for many years. Along with players that have gone to FIVB tournaments, they said this, this tournament here is of a world-class event, is of a world-class standard. So that's the feedback we get from the players and officials that, that have been to world-class events. Does that make the hair stand on the back of your head yeah. coming from idea to execution? Yeah, yes. because, I mean, not only the players. Um, just in December, um, they had an FIVB beach meeting. And the Cayman Islands throughout the world was showcased at this meeting. They used the Cayman Volleyball Tournament as the example, like, how tournaments are supposed to be run. Wow. You know, so that in itself speaks volume of what we're doing here, not just volleyball, mm -hmm. but as a country of a whole. Final question. You mentioned the World Championship and the World Open. What financially can this tournament bring if we uh, are able to pull off a World Championship? Um, we know exactly what we're getting now. We have so many people coming in. We have athletes bringing their tourism. families. Yeah. I mean, it, it's crazy. Um, when you talk about the big one, you're talking about ESPN, you're talking about all these different um, TV station is going to want to tap into this. It's, it gets really, really big. So, I mean, for us here, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. Congratulations to Noel and Farid. We'll be seeing you guys again next week as we continue our countdown to this year's edition of the North Seca Beach Volleyball Tournament. The best in the Caribbean, North America, and Central America will be in the Cayman Islands again, heating up the beach. Carolyn Smith talks about her collection of poems after the break. Stay with us for more on Daybreak.